Hello, I'm Hui Li, and my advisor is Dr. Kenny Han. The project that I'd like to show you is called Rollbox, an image-aware mobile application using the AWS ecosystem. I will introduce the project from the following aspects, some general introduction, application architecture, Amazon Web Services, demo, and uh, conclusion. First introduction. Um, several application support face recognition such as iOS Photos, Google Photos. They scan through users' photos and generate a gallery of individual faces. Photos with similar faces are grouped together, but information about the people appearing in the photo is not there. The idea of Rollerbox is to allow users to manage a list of contacts while supporting a photo-based matching feature so that users can upload images of their contacts and more importantly identify those faces uh, at a later time by taking a photo. And uh, here is the function analysis. Login logout is the basic user function. And uh, according to the description, user will be able to manage contact list and uh, upload their images. The key functionalities are associate images with contact information and have face recognized and uh, automatically labeled. This is the architecture of Rollbox. The client, the client side, both include a web and a mobile application. Both these clients communicate with server through web API that has no direct interaction with AWS platform. The server is deployed on AWS Elastic Compute Cloud Engine and implemented as a Node Express web API that manages data via Mongo. And, um, provide key services through AWS. In this part, I'll introduce how AWS provide key support with some code examples. Um, I choose simple storage service as image store for its security and the low latency. S3 use bucket to store data objects where buckets are containers for ob objects and roughly corresponds to the notion of folders in the traditional file system. Code fragments on the right shows um, how to use S3 JavaScript API to store an image. Body is the binary data of the object. Key represents the file path and the bucket is just the name of the bucket. Um, the result written from callback contains an e-tag value and uh, uh, a version ID. Um, Rollbox use Amazon recognition to identify faces and uh, retrieve descriptive information from images. Uh, in this code example, images is passed um, either as base 64 encoded image bytes or as a reference to an image in S3 bucket. Attribute is an array of returned facial attributes which can be default or or. Still the same, the client receive the result via the callback function passed as the second argument to detect face function. And this is the a, a, a simple face analysis result with attributes specified to default, including the bounding box where the face in the original image using normalized coordinates. Landmarks is used to identify location of facial features such as eye position, nose position, um, quality, Quality qualifi qualifies how suitable the image is for computational analysis and the confidence is how sure Amazon is that the bounding box contains a face. Detect face 
um, is a stateless function, which means it does not persist any data. So face need to be stored for later searching and matching. According to the recognition API, each user is assigned a face collection where faces are indexed. Users Rollbox ID serves as the collection ID to identify the owner of the collection. So this code example shows how to create a collection for a user. Index face method is very similar to detect face, but that store recognized faces. Quality filter specify uh, a, um, it specify a quality bar that determine how much filtering is done to identify faces. A face ID will be returned after adding a face to a collection. This face ID can be used to search for matching faces in that collection. So this is the example of search face API and this is the face ID. And this method will return the top 10 most similar faces. And here is the sample face match with pretty high similarity. Okay, let's see what Wallbox looks like on a web browser. The I have prepared an account. Let's first look into the application. Um the application have five parts. Um, the messages parts, um, contacts, photo gallery, and uh, face detection, and uh, last is settings. So let's starting with face detection. After choosing um, an image, you can upload it. And once it has complete, the face detected will show up here. So the face is detected. So we can click on the face to select and then let's add one face to our contact. You can choose to create a new contact to attach this face, or you can also um, attach to an existing contact. I will choose to attach to an existing contact, say John Gary, attach. So let's go back to here. So the face is attached to these contacts. And then um, the gallery is uploaded. So this photo has three face, but I only upload one. So I can, con um, I, I, I only attach one face so I can now choose to attach another two. So this is father, mother, and daughter. Mother. And Kelly. Confirm. All right. So Kelly is here now. So we can see Kelly. I didn't um, edit his inf uh, her information so these are all blank but i can do it now if i want to so let's say i can give her a phone number just a random one okay so his phone, her phone number is here and um, i can also create a new contact 
So let's say her name is Katie. And family is no company, no position, uh, a phone. So she's here too. Now let's see uh, face recognition. So I'll first add a contact and then upload same images. Um, not same images. Um, images with same person. Okay, a face has been detected and attached to a existing. Andrew Foster. Okay. And now we can see the faces here. And then we continue to add. Now, if we set, we want to add to contact list, it will um, have a face match and it is show here. So attach this face and then you can see entry. So two face and I can click this face to see the ori original image. So, and then I add a final one. Steal him. And so same person detected. Attach this face and Andrew Foster. So that's basically the application. There are still some other functionalities, uh, but due to time limit, I wouldn't show you here. The core functionality is here. Okay. Now comes to the conclusion. Let's first talk about problems I encountered when I use recognition API. If the input images is in JPEG format, it might contain exchangeable image file format metadata, EXIF. Amazon recognition used the orientation information to correct the bounding box leaves the original image untouched. So we have to correct the image orientation ourselves. I used the Sharp, which is a high performance Node.js image processing module to perform image rotation, just several lines of code. And here is some future work. Rollbox has been successfully deployed on an open source clone of EC2 service in University of Wisconsin locals. It will be deployed to AWS EC2 after the project is completely finished. And on the mobile on the mobile clients, Rollbox currently performs face matching by taking a photo and then searching faces in collections. This can be extended to a real-time video analysis where the combination use of Amazon Kinesis and the recognition on video. Um, as for suitability of AWS services, it's our opinion that many AWS services can be used in an undergraduate CS curricula to achieve 
results that are both engaging to students and extremely relevant for those students upon entering into the job mar marketplace. While this project is implemented in JavaScript, the same services are available using Java, Python, Ruby, and other languages. And that's all. Thank you. Thanks for watching.